All right, Ireland's Kicking King returns for 2023 and the man behind it all, Tig Leader of Leader Kicking, joins me now. Tig, I suppose, um, before we get into it, for those who haven't seen you or Ireland's Kicking King before, tell us about yourself, your your background, Leader Kicking, and how you've become Ireland's go-to man for American football t- skills. <laughs> yeah, um, so from Galway, just the standard, grew up hurling rugby, soccer, all of that, and then got to... Get in so went to the Connick ranks and I play professionally here and not in the US and got some caps from America. Uh, COVID came along and I started kicking American footballs for a bit of crack and then that I ended up doing that. Retired from rugby and then ended up doing that for say two years. And whilst I was doing that, it was obvious to me that like Irish lads who were like, kicking as part of like what we do, as I said, Gaelic football, soccer, um, rugby. Like we kick a ball, we kick a ball well. So. I decided that I might try and create a bit of a pathway for Irish lads to play the sport, just kind of like I did. But the main idea is sending lads to college. And so, yeah, that was the concept. Started around this time last year and it's gone fast. It's, and we've three lads have gone over, two lads on Division One scholarships to America. Uh, one flew last week, one flies next week. And then another lad recently just signed with the NFL Academy. So it's been unreal. And uh, hopefully now trying to find more players and hopefully more down your neck of the woods. Absolutely, yeah. You're coming to Cork on Saturday. It's a great way, isn't it, of just broadening it out to to anyone and, and introducing loads of people to an American football. You know, like you said, uh, last year's winner didn't even ha- hadn't even kicked one before, had he? So uh, it's uh, it's a very good concept. Tell us about this coming Saturday, MTU Cork, and this year's competition. Yeah, it's what on last year's lad. He just get a football rugby player. So you know, like kicking a ball. Saw that we we're doing an event that had some cool prizes. So he came down, came along. And um, yeah, he ended up winning it. So so this year, the plan is anyone 15 and older is welcome to come down and give it a crack. And although leader kicking a lot of the stuff was a targeting guys to go to college in the US and get them scholarships, for this Ireland kicking king, the whole idea is it's open to anyone. In Cork, actually, we had quite a few lads last year in their late 30s or early 40s get involved. So like it's it's if you can give it, you can kick a ball, um, come down get involved and if you're good at it this year the big prize is uh you get flown you know yourself plus a uh, plus one flown out to america put up in hotel and then we're after got quite lucky um two tickets to a pittsburgh steelers regular season game against the ravens so they're like i don't even think they sell them because uh, they get sold out you know to season ticket holders and uh, so we have to sort in two tickets for the winners for that so it's a pretty unbelievable prize and uh but yeah, if you win that on real, otherwise just come along, have a bit of crack. I think everyone sees it on TV and thinks it looks easy. So if it's as easy as it looks, you should come down. Who knows? You could find yourself flying out to the US. Absolutely. And tell us about Saturday itself. It's set to be a good event. Yeah, no. It, so what's cool about this is um, we're on a half 10. So we'll go for, say, an hour and a bit. And then at three o'clock, Ireland, uh, the Irish Wolfhound. So it's the Irish American football team. They're playing their first ever home game in the European Championships against Turkey. So that's happened at three o'clock as well. So the, look, the sport's grown a lot and it's, uh, it's obviously still a bit more underground, but it is growing and there's a lot more and big NFL doing some events in Ireland, college football do events in Ireland. So, you know, it's, it's cool to see the Irish national team kind of getting the radar now. So yeah, we'll be kicking in the morning and then the lads, the Ireland team be playing against Cork uh, at three. Yeah, and the Cork Admirals have had a, a very good season as well. <clears throat> had some very good... Uh... Very good occasions over the last uh, month or so as well at MTU Cork. So it's yeah. uh, good timing to get in on the back of that. If you do miss uh, this Saturday, though, there are loads of other opportunities. And uh, there's one close to Cork as well uh, for people who might miss out this Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Um, so last year we needed five events around the country. And you know, a lot of people wanted to come, but for whatever reason they couldn't make it. So this year we wanted to ensure that everyone can get a crack and get involved. So... We're doing, I think I think it's in the 19th, I should know this, I think on the 19th, we're doing Killarney. Um, so, you know, it's only out the road, not too far. So hopefully, <clears throat> if you can't make it to Cork on the Saturday, you'll have another chance to do it on the 19th. But if you go to our website, leaderkicking.com, you'll find all the events there. So you can sign up to one that suits yourself. And um, yeah, get involved. Like if you know a lad that's, it's male and female, by the way. But if, you know, if you're the, the club free taking and you can kick a 45, you can probably kick the American football quite well. So we're hoping that, or same kind of concept in rugby, you're a good kicker. So we're hoping that, you know, there's no expectation, no no stress on it. Just come down and have a bit of crack with it and who knows where it will take it. That's kind of what I've been telling people. There are more young Irish NFL prospects than ever right now and you touched on a few of mm. them. 
early on in the chat there. And when you think that, I suppose, Neil O'Donoghue in the 70s and 80s was the only Irish-born player in the modern era to have success in the league, it is very exciting at the moment for, for Irish prospects. Yeah, big time. And, and the problem is there's just never been an option, you know. Um, there's never been an option for people to, to play. Um on the bigger scale to get scholarships to go to America. So thankfully now that ex- that exists for Irish lads to do it. In the past, they've had to move to different countries to get training and get get exposure. Whereas it, it's it's now on our front doorstep. So now it's it, boys boys going over now to play Division One college football is huge. There's a few lads around the pro ranks currently as well. So it's um the sport's changing and it's changing here in Ireland. So we're just we're just trying to kind of harness or the heritage of Ireland. Like we grew up kicking a ball. Now we're doing the same thing. It's just a slightly different ball, but obviously the scale of the opportunities are are massive. And it's only a matter of time, hopefully, that there are that there is an Irish starter in an NFL franchise, and uh, maybe maybe having a lot of success as well. Ah, I, I it will exactly only a matter of time. It's it's going to be happening. And trust me, by the talent I've seen across the country, the events I've done so far, it's just lads just need the opportunity, and and it's now an option. So you know. That will happen, I think, in the next five to ten years. We'll see an Irish lad born in Ireland, raised in Ireland, who's been trained you know, in Ireland by Irish people. That's um, That will be a class story. And as I said, and as you said, only a matter of time. It's uh, this Saturday, the 5th of August, is the first of Ireland's Kicking King, um, the first of the tournament, let's say. And uh, if you want to just plug how people can get involved, you've already mentioned it, but just to, just to tie it all up again for us. Yeah, so, so just... Go to leaderkicking.com and there you'll find all the information about Ireland's Kicking King, where you can sign up, how you can get involved. And if you can't make it to on the 5th uh, to MTU Stadium, there's another one on in Killarney. So hopefully you might be able to make that. And um, yeah, just say, just come along, just come along just to enjoy it. And if, who knows where it'll take you, but at the bare minimum, just kicking a ball. Everyone, most of us like doing that. It's a bit of crack. So that, that's that's what I'm trying to achieve with it. Absolutely. Well, Tyg, the very best of luck with it. And uh, we might be talking to you again. We might be talking to whoever comes through uh, MTU Cork as well on Saturday and uh, looking forward to the rest of the tournament and to see how it all goes for you. Sound, Aiden. Cheers. Thanks very much.